Hi and welcome to CIA's 360 Mods. This is my latest creation right here. This is my Xbox 360 that I've uh, modified. Just a case mod, no software mods. Um, this is my uh, my custom DVD spindle right here. I cut it out so you can see the DVD spinning in it. And then uh, this is the Halo guy right here with the sticky grenade as you can see. Uh, the intercooler right here, this is just a regular intercooler. You can buy them at Best Buy or Walmart or anything like that. This is a temperature controlled model. It says TS right there, which means when it gets hot, it comes on automatically. But the interesting thing I've done here today is I've wired my LEDs and my uh, blue LED vortex fan right here through my intercooler. So when everything, everything gets hot, they all come on at the same time, and then whenever it cools down, they all shut off at the same time. So I don't have to get up and flick a button, but I do have my manual override button right here, so I can see I can turn it on, then I can turn it off. Okay. And then, uh, let's see, let's turn on the Xbox real quick. And like I said, since it's wired through the intercooler, it's running off an uh, alternate power source, so I'm not drawing any power away from my Xbox. Since it's wired through the intercooler, it'll all come on at the same time, it'll all shut off at the same time. So, uh, as we all know, the Xbox creates an extreme amount of heat. So, uh, whenever it turns on, which will be here in just a second, uh, you'll see all my LEDs and I'll get up and I'll shut off the, f the light so you can see it a little bit better. See, there we go. It's came on right there. Let me shut off the light. All right, so right here, the I have the neons around the DVD spindle right there. And then I have the sticky grenade. I have it wired up so the sticky grenade's blue. Then I've actually cut out the X's in the Xbox right there and have neons right there so you can see them. And then that's the fan. The LEDs are down there, and that's my CIA symbol. You can see it a lot better now. And then I have the whisper fans in the back back here. Let me get it so you can see them. Let's see the whisper fans back there. You can't really see them too well because the intercooler blocks a lot of it. But uh, as soon as it, uh, I'll shut off the Xbox right here. As soon as the Xbox shuts off, since it's running off alternate power, it'll keep going until the Xbox is actually cool. And I have three fans on here. I have the, the LED fan right here, and then I have the whisper fans right here in the back, and I have the intercooler. So it cools off pretty quickly. So if you just give it a second, everything will shut off on its own. Don't gotta get. Oh, I, I still have my manual switch right here, so I can shut it off whenever I want. But. If you just leave it on for a second, uh, it'll actually shut off by itself because it's all through the, the intercooler right here, which is temperature sensitive. So uh, thank you very much for watching my, uh, my video. Hope you guys watch some more. I'll have some more posted here real soon. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day, guys.